Hey, what's going on Facebook? Hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday. Coach Mark here, creator of the Lean Body Breakthrough for busy moms and dads looking to lose weight without long workouts and impossible diets. But listen, we're not here to talk about diets or workouts. I want to talk to you about something that um, has been a, a bit enlightening for me. It's something I thought would be a lot harder. And I don't know if you can feel me. And I know depending on where your kids are at in school, maybe a lot harder. I'd love to jump on here and talk with some of you and get some feedback, hear what you have to say about this whole homeschooling, virtual school, whatever you want to call it, uh, teleschooling, Zoom schooling. Uh, my wife and I, we just got back a little while ago, taking the dog out. She had a partial day. She's even doing some telemedicine as well, working from home partly, part at the hospital. Um, and uh, But anyway, I wanted to share with you just kind of my thoughts, because I'm kind of digging this home virtual schooling thing. Um, maybe because my teenagers are fairly self-sufficient and they do, they do okay in school and they, they have what they need. Um, but it's kind of nice, actually. They've done well. They've, you know, getting up, doing their work. I actually thought they were both sleeping in and I went in both their rooms this morning. They were online doing their work. Um, and I thought that was really, really cool. Now, maybe if you have somebody, like if you have younger kids, <laughs> you might not be uh, in the same boat as me. But for, for any of you out there, I'd love to hear your input. Hey, uh, when you come on, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the whole virtual schooling. Because I have a feeling the reality is that schools are going to get themselves equipped, not just for maybe containment you know, mode type of thing where they have to stay at home, but just in general, right? I know even colleges are going to virtual learning and schooling, and I know there's lots of parents who are already equipped because they're already doing homeschooling for their kids. So I love as you come on here, um, when you come on, I'd love to get your thoughts on it, how it's going, if it's hard. Um, share kind of some insight. So what, just to tell you where I'm at, I have a junior in high school and I have a freshman in high school and they both do fairly well in school. Um, it's not really to talk about that, but they're also doing their work, getting it done and uh, doing quite well. And you know why I think this is my, the, the next generation, like my kids, and maybe if you have teenagers, they're already equipped online. They do all of this online already. So I think it's kind of like second nature. In fact, I, I know for a fact it's a whole lot harder for the teachers, right, that are trying to figure out how to do online and how to, to set up the classroom. But I know there are some teachers that are getting well equipped and they're doing the best they can, doing a really great job, making sure that their students have what they need. Um, I think it's to be a lot harder for the younger students and even more so for the parents out there who have uh, younger kids. I can't imagine having an elementary school, even maybe middle school, but I think even in middle school, they are kind of, if they have phones or access to internet and shoot, I know even the generation behind that, the young, young ones, you parents are getting those kids on iPads and phones at such a young age. Now it's not in the knock it, but I'm just saying they're already starting to get equipped for it. So I think to some extent, there's actually a good thing. Whereas maybe a lot of people are, um, a lot of people are, you know, like struggling or maybe, you know, it's, it's causing a lot of stress. And it'd be, I said, the biggest thing for me is that they're in my home office. Cause I use my whole home outside, inside, and I go out to do something outside. My son's sitting on the picnic table outside where I do work out of, or, um, you know, in the morning, if they're not up earlier, I'm in the office right next to my son's room. Uh, so aside from that, I actually, it's, it's going awesome. I actually am in really enjoying it. And I know for a fact, you know, as a, a, having a junior, he potentially can actually even graduate now. I think he has enough credits to graduate. So I don't know if there's any other parents that are like, hey, if they could do the school at home, um, you know, why not? I mean, that, <laughs> yes, there's other things and stuff. I would say is <clears throat> I do feel for some of the seniors out there, and I, I mentioned this the other day, senior in high school, I have an actual somebody that's on my team, my own online coaching business that's on my team that's a senior in college, and he has, uh, he's not going to go back. In fact, he's not going to graduate, technically graduate. He'll technically graduate in May, but he's going, they're going to have graduation not until December. So that's really kind of a bummer. I know seniors, you got to miss out on prom and some other things, but you're making do. I saw some really cool things, virtual proms and stuff like that. I was th thought was pretty awesome. But as far as the schooling thing goes, who's, tell me what you got. Hey, so, you know, if you're on here, you're sharing. What's up, Pat? Thanks for coming on. Nate, how's it going, buddy? Uh, Karen and uh, if you have any thoughts I'd love to hear them what you think 
um, as far as, or maybe if you're a teacher, how is it going as, as being a teacher? I know it's maybe if you're not used to it, it's definitely like pushing. I, I, what I love to do, it's, it's allowing our minds to grow, to expand teachers to expand how do I reach the kids now as much as it may be an inconvenience there may be a convenience you might be able to get your lesson across without having to spend X amount of time in a classroom I think that's pretty awesome uh, in my opinion and I just think that's just the way not to say that we have to go with what the world's doing but the reality is technology is moving a lot of things thankfully for technology like this hey Terry what's going on Matt only had four classes anyway. Yeah, I mean, he's a senior, right? Getting it done. I'm sure he probably doesn't mind not going to school. And, um, well, it doesn't mean that I want to replace everything with online. But I'll tell you what, I'm very grateful that they're able to not have to redo the second half or maybe take out, say, we get back to things in April or May. And can you imagine if they had to go to school in the summer? That would really suck. That would be really hard. Hey, Deborah, surely appreciate you. Beth, thanks for coming on. Really appreciate you. Um, hope you had a great day. We're talking about this whole like virtual school, online teaching, training stuff. And uh, I've actually enjoyed it. It's been, it's actually been rather smooth. I would say, like I said, aside from everybody being in my space and me having to step out in the front porch and do a lot of my work or step away, we have a small house. If you have a big house, that might be fine or a basement where you live. We don't have basements here in Florida. Uh, we have like Florida rooms and we have, you know, sun rooms and things like that. Maybe a pool area you can go and do your work on, but I've actually kind of enjoyed it. It's kind of been nice. Uh, to have the kids around and uh, regardless of it being a little bit of an inconvenience being around in my space they are doing really really well and like I said I think the teenagers that are that are now going through this teens they're already equipped they know how to get online they're like boom 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 in fact they're probably showing some of the adults that maybe aren't used to doing work online how to do that showing them how to do zoom meetings and facetimes and lives and all that kind of stuff it's it's in my nature because i have to do it for my business but i know there's a lot of people that are learning from their children i think that's pretty awesome uh we can learn a lot from the the kids that we give the technology to and then they run with it and now we're asking for their help it's kind of like my parents you know i have a mom who doesn't do any texting doesn't do email doesn't do any facetime any of that phone call it's it's <clears throat> mark we're gonna talk this is when we're gonna talk it's gonna be a phone call that's my mom uh, my dad, he doesn't even want to talk. He wants to text message. <laughs> it's like, he, I don't think he keeps his phone on. In fact, uh, I have to text him. And then when he turns on his phone, then he texts me back. I think they have it on now. But they don't do any until actually just the last couple of last week or two. They were doing um, online shopping. My dad was like, no, nobody's going to get my credit cards online. And, and now he's doing, he actually did a home delivery for groceries. And I'm sure there's some of you parents some of you guys in your 40s and you have parents and maybe they're learning how to adapt, learning how to do this, kind of getting the home deliveries, maybe uh, maybe their prescription medications and stuff that are getting delivered or their grocery store groceries are getting delivered to them. Uh, some of the other things might be delivered, even food like dinners and things like that, which I think is pretty cool. It's a kind of exciting. So anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Anybody else? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Here, let me see. I'm so sad for our seniors. Yeah, I, I do feel for the seniors not getting to have that senior experience. But here's the cool thing. They're never going to forget their senior year because of this. It could be something that they can look back and like, wow, you know what? I went through that and I didn't get that. But again, I don't think back to my senior. Like now, it's a long, long time ago. And I would say is it really was not. It was all of the school. It wasn't really like my senior year, even though I think a lot of times as parents were like, oh, that's like the cool year. They get to transition. After that, nobody cares <laughs> after senior year. Everybody moves on and does their own thing. Learning to adapt is one of many lessons we will all take away from this unique time in history. Absolutely, and I think you're right, Debbie. Is um, we, we learn to adapt. We go through things in our lives. If you've lived you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus years, there's, I'm sure, at least a handful, at least on one hand, if not two, a number of times where you've had to pivot. You've had to, you face something and maybe it was like, you know, something, uh, maybe not to this extent, but something similar, right? We've had lots of moments in history that have, that have changed the world. In fact, I never had a cell phone. 
I was one of the last people in New York to get a cell phone, and, and it took 9-11 for me to actually drop and get a cell phone, to actually say, hey, now I'm okay with somebody knowing where I'm at. But before, I was fighting it, because I was saying, I don't want somebody to know where I'm at all the time. Now look, I'm doing it my business. My entire business is run through a phone, which is kind of crazy. So anyway, yeah, learning to adapt is so true. Nani, hey, appreciate you coming on. Kevin, appreciate it. We're basically just talking about, and Dan, yeah, this is just a simple conversation. Just want to connect with you. Erica, I appreciate you. About this home, whole, the whole home schooling thing. Andrew, appreciate you, brother. Gigi, appreciate you. Now, I know some of you guys got younger kids, and it may not be effective as far as the kids remembering this. You know, for me, teenagers, they're going to remember this. But I would say if you got younger ones, man, I feel for you. Uh, I don't know, like, how you're doing it or how the school, how even teachers are doing it. Uh, maybe if they're really young and it's not, you know, more just some of the basic learning things that you're able to do. But I would say, I'll tell you what, what a great way for parents to learn how to adapt and shift to if anything like this comes up or if, you know, something changes the way our education system is delivered because it is time probably for a change. I would say for a lot. Uh, I mean, it may just force that upon us now. So I think that was pretty cool. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Yeah, he's got some teenagers, all you guys that are jumping on. Um, I'm just basically sharing, and I'm going to get off you. I'm not going to stay on too long, although I love you very much, and I appreciate you watching. Um, I I've really actually been okay. I thought it would be really kind of crazy, but even in the last two weeks, we're in our third week now of, of online. The first week really was like a second week of spring break, so they technically didn't have any work. For us, this is where, where my kids are at school, public school system, and then last week, and then this week, but they're getting their work done. It's pretty great. They're actually doing their stuff. They do it, and I think they actually enjoy it, too. They are say, man, we're just able to get it all done in one shot. I think Mason was trying to get everything done, even for the rest of the year, as soon as he can, and get that all done. Um, yeah, have a great night, Cheryl. Appreciate you. Veronica, thanks for coming on, and Lori, gonna go come back on and check it. I basically just was sharing some thoughts about home about how the virtual homeschooling thing is going. And, and uh, I know it's maybe a challenge for you younger parents. I don't know, maybe for some of you older parents that have older kids, high school, maybe you got some college students that are home. That might be tough because they're used to having their own maybe schedule, if you will, having more independence. And now they're not really having that independence and being back at home. That would be hard for me if I was in college and, and had to be back home and kind of were kind of under my parents' roof and, you know, under their rules and uh, not so not so fun um a supposed son was supposed to graduate this year yeah i'm, I'm sorry to, with um in high school then right because i think yeah you have a high school senior uh, but they'll still do graduation they'll just what will they do like a virtual graduation i'd be curious to know what that i actually um in student ministry i'm with senior boys and we haven't met we usually meet in a once a week and uh, we haven't been able to. We did. We've been doing like the virtual thing, like everybody else. Uh, but I know um, some of them. You know, same thing. The senior year, uh, they're not able to do the graduations. Yeah, yeah, senior. So sorry to hear that. But again, it's just a stepping stone. It's just a point in the life. You know, <clears throat> you think back of all the things they've already graduated from, whether it be <clears throat> first grade, kindergarten, elementary school, middle school, high school. They're all just stepping stones. And even though this memory, it's it's going to be etched in stone. Well, he'll remember it forever, even if it wasn't like a lot of other people's. But that's what makes it unique. I think that could be exciting. Hey, you know, we didn't even have graduation. I remember once in high school, we had the, the state in New York State. We had a state exam. <clears throat> it's called the Regents exam. And I remember, I'll never forget, we were going on a Saturday or Friday, I think it was on a Saturday they had the exam, and you went to take the exam, and I'll never forget that they shut down shop. Like, we had, I think it was a math exam, and the word got out that somebody stole the exam. Not from where I live, but somebody stole the state, the same exam that everybody gets across the state of New York, and it got broken into and stolen, so they shut it down, and we couldn't take the test. This was back in, like, 89, 90, that's when I graduated, in 90. But it was kind of crazy, and you know what? I'll never forget that. It was like, oh, I remember that exam. They had to shut it down. I think it was math. I can't remember because I'm old now, but I can't remember what it was. But I was like, well, that was like sucky at the time that I went through. And I know it's nominal compared to what we're going through now, but it was something that I remember and will remember for forever pretty much. So anyway, that's all I have. If you're just jumping on now, go back. Again, I just talked briefly about 
about this whole virtual school thing and adapting and figuring it out and learning and evolving and pivoting. And if you're doing that, congratulations, parents. Um, if you're having a hard time and struggling, what I would say is maybe reach out to some of those parents that are crushing and have been crushing homeschooling for a while. You can maybe get the ins and outs, how they connect, how they do things. They're probably a, a high, high value right now. I know I have a few friends. In fact, we saw one the other day. Um, and touch base with them and the homeschooling is like hey business as usual for them they're they've been homeschooled they have three boys they've been homeschooling for a long time and it's just like it's second nature they're already ready um, so anyway tomorrow morning 8 a.m. if you haven't seen it you can go back and look at this morning's 8 a.m. I do um, the daily dose it's called a daily dose I started it Monday today's Tuesday we did the second one tomorrow 8 a.m. look for me live on Facebook come join me 8 a.m. we're gonna do a daily dose I'll be taking questions to see if you come on there and you want to ask questions but just a daily dose of encouragement but what I'm also going to be doing is allowing if you have questions you want to reach out to me ask me some specific questions that I can come on and answer uh, this is going to be a daily show 8 a.m. Uh, well, we're going to go all all week long so we'll see how it goes and I may even commit to a 30-day period to see if that time works and a lot of people join me right now it should be because we're a lot of us are at home uh, instead of watching Netflix or news or all that kind of uh, that stuff that just it just you don't want to get too much of that on you so come join me tomorrow morning 8 a.m. for a little daily dose of encouragement that's all I have tonight take care and have a blessed night we'll see you